Hey, this is Notzer, and I got some good news. Wargaming has just announced to the CCs a list of finalized ships for 7.10. The public test server is live right now with version 2. It has the killer whale introduced into the Halloween event, which is the main reason for the patch, and I can't wait for that. But the other reason for 7.10 is the introduction of the full line of Royal Navy destroyers. Yes, you heard me right. 7.10, they will be launched. We're gonna have the ability to obviously unlock them for real. You won't have some stupid mission that has terrible RNG and you have to open 250 containers to even have a sniff, a whiff of this mission. No, no, no. In 7.10, you'll just be able to grind it. Now, that also means try and get the mission before 7.10. I don't know if 7.10 is going to just make those missions irrelevant, but the missions, they give you the ship, they give you all the unlocks for free. All you have to do is earn a couple base XP, which is no problem at all, but I just want to make sure you know. <laughs> 7.10, the Royal Navy Destroyer line launches for real, and I can't wait to play it. But that's not the only thing that's coming in 7.10. We're also getting a premium tier 9. Now, I can keep this going forever and stay as vague as possible, but let's just tell you what it is. The premium tier 9 is French, and it's a battleship. It's the Jean Bar. Finally, we get the Jean Bar, and this is the premium tier 9 Richie Rich, Richelieu, that has secondary gun range, and it has the ability to use main battery reload. This will be the first battleship introduced into the main game, where you lovely people will have the opportunity to make use of it. Now, I personally really enjoy the ship. I think it's fantastic. I can't wait to play it. But some people might not appreciate the ship as much as I do. Or other people. It's going to be something that's very brutal. It punishes very hard any ship that tries to do something cheeky. You know, shows too much side. Or it's an MEDD that happens to sail out from behind an island. You get the idea. The main battery reload is going to be brutal. But it's coming in 7.10 for everyone to own. Now, how do you own this ship, Notzer? Since it's ready for purchase, shouldn't they have the way you purchase it? It would make good sense to share that information. And many different CCs tried to get them to commit to how they're selling the ship. And not a single one was successful, might I add. I tried. I even sent a picture of my cat in a haunted Halloween house. But no, no, no. That's not enough to weasel the purchase out of the Jean Bar in Wargaming. So I have no definitive, confirmed price or style of purchase. I wish I could tell you. And honestly, I was considering just making a review today, posting a Jean Bar review, but then I was like, no, we're gonna wait for the payment method and I want to include that into the review because that's important. But at least we know Jean Bar's coming out in 7.10. Now, is that gonna be the day it launches? Um, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea on that one, and I won't know until, you know, Wargaming gives us more information. So it's really not finalized. It's, it's more like loosely finalized. The stats are final, I guess, but nothing else about it is final. So, as you might imagine, You've probably guessed what the other ship is that's being finalized in 7.10. It's on the screen. It's the Tier 8 Premium French Destroyer, the Tidabo. And this is incredibly disappointing to me because this is the 5 second reload, the 50% main battery reload booster instead of 75%. It lasts for 15 seconds. It has better concealment. But yet, it still has no defensive tool whatsoever. You're supposed to use its speed boost to run away, I guess, like Sir Robin or something. I... <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. It can't do anything. It's always spotted. This is this is exactly how bad it's going to be. I, <laughs> I... I don't know why this version is final. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll... I think we're going to die here. We're trying to capture this base. I tried everything I could. Enemy dive bomber on approach. He's going to drop me any second, and the game's going to... You can't make this stuff up. His dive bomber 
did not land a single bomb. Any, any bomb would have killed me. But no, alas, it doesn't. And I'm going to still try and capture this base. This is the final version, though. This is the version that's going to be sold. It's probably going to be sold for 35 US dollars, 40 US dollars. And you're going to be expected to pay that if you want it. I don't know of any event that's going to reward it. It's a very weird tier 8. Very, very weird. So it's got the speed of the Soviet DDs. It has the range of some Soviet DDs. A very fast recharge on the torpedoes, but with aircraft and literally anything else in the game, you're spotted always. You have no heal, you have no smoke, you can't disengage at all. You just use your speed, your sluggish speed, to get away from people spotting you. I'm just not really sold on this being the final version. This feels half-baked. It doesn't feel final and can't compete with any of the Tier 8 Premium DDs let alone Tier 9s and Tier 10s. It's going to the Wolves. We're talking about the most Tier 10 gameplay ever in the history of World of Warships, thanks to legendary modules and all of the grinding stuff, the Hall of Fames. There are so many, and ranked play, there are so many Tier 10s that any Tier 8 that queues up will most likely run into the majority of the map being Tier 10s and Tier 9s. And yes... This is in World of Tanks. You're not automatically useless when fighting two tiers above you, but you're still not very good. You're talking about ships that are faster, have better firepower, better torpedo systems, better concealment, better everything. They have heal. You don't have anything. So it's not good. This is not something I'm looking forward to. I don't want to play it. I love the Tier 6 Premium, the Eagle, but I don't love this one. This is just, this is just, ugh. this is literally terrible. And if that's what they were going for, well, they definitely reached that. So I'm, <sighs> maybe someone will change my mind. You know, while playing it in this state, I was like, okay, I don't have any smoke or heal to compensate for openly firing. What else is on the table for me? Well, I have speed, and I can go very quickly to stuff. Maybe the only valid tactic is for my ship to hop between islands and fire only on one target and make sure that everyone else is concealed behind the island so they can't spot me. So I can freely fire from a camping position but I'm not going to risk the ship because I can't risk the ship. I have no health to risk on this ship. We're about to have the rework go live. Definitely within two, three, four months. This is probably going to be the last premium tier 8 DD before that comes out. And if that is the case, we're going to have more aircraft carriers that always spot all the time. You can't use smoke to hide from them. Smoke would have been great for this to hide for them for the aircraft carrier. So they'll probably harass the hell out of you. They'll probably keep you spotted behind islands. I don't know what Wargaming wanted from this. I don't know what they wanted. I've tried a lot of different play styles and I, I just, I can't get a decent game out of this. What I would consider a decent game. Yeah, I can play the objective. Yeah, I can still score top on the team, but I'm not doing any damage. I'm not hitting any torpedoes, and I'm always running away. It doesn't really feel like a confidence-building premium. <laughs> it, uh, it degrades your confidence. It works against you. But enough about this ship. Hearing that the John Bar coming out in 710, it's in its final version. Super excited. Can't wait. The British DDs, the Royal Navy Destroyers, I think they're going to be wonderful to play. I really am excited. The fast smoke, the 360 gun turrets at high tiers, just the the high explosive shell, the AP, they've got ev the acceleration. They've got everything that I want, the hydroacoustic. I love that they had the guts to normalize it across all tiers. I would love to see this for radar. Hydroacoustic for other lines. Anything that was a consumable, I don't see why it couldn't be normalized. 
because the tool is the same as all the other ships in the line. It teaches you how to use the exact tool, and you still have the performance of the ship that differs it from tier to tier. Now, one little bit of information. Since 710 is confirmed as, you know, the Royal Navy DD's launching, whatever is your highest Royal Navy DD, if you were so fortunate to get one of those missions, try to have at least one daily win in your highest tier. That way you will gather XP that you can then invest in the mainline branch existing and whatever the next one is. For me, the lightning is my highest tier. So I'm gonna go every day and play one game and get a win in it. So when the line actually launches in 710, I'll have enough XP to purchase the Jetland. And that's just a little tip and trick that a lot of veteran players are aware of and I just wanna make sure that everyone understands this exists. Also, if you have one of these Royal Navy DDs, maybe the Lightning or Jervis, you'll notice that it appears as if it's premium. Obviously, it's not premium. You don't get premium credit. But what it is allowing you to do is to freely move your commanders between the ships and, you know, test a super high skilled commander in all the ships that you were fortunate enough to unlock in a mission. That effect is going away in 710. So you will have to assign commanders to these ships. They're going to be converted to the, the regular ship that is non-premium and doesn't allow you to freely move captains. I just want people to understand that was just for testing and just for this little promotional mission event. Wargaming doesn't see that as something that they want to pursue. It's not something that's changed just for the British DDs. That's just how Wargaming gives the content for testing. It just makes it easier for testers to freely move their commanders over and test it. So that is something that's going away. Make sure that you have whatever commander you want assigned to the highest tier ship the day before 710 actually launches and then go from there. So I hope you all have, you know, enjoyed this conversation. Obviously really exciting that we're getting one of the premium tier nines. It's you know, coveted, Jean Bar is way up there on my list of want. Already gathered enough free XP and hopefully enough coal. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.